so as in previous lecture we saw this uh, projection so this fourier this fourier series is nothing but finding projections this is nothing but finding projections because each each of this an this ak is nothing but what i do is that i take the dot product of this function ft with cos k omega not t divided by this cos this is cos k omega not t comma cos k omega not t this is as simple as this is this vector v1 this is this vector v2 then to find the projection of this vector on it what we do is that v1 dot v2 divided by v2 dot v2 into v2 vector so just 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 imagine where we studied this and in what context it is applicable we studied it in context of finding the in the forces and all those mechanics and now that concept of mechanics is being able to you be used in this sounds so if you are thorough if you love mathematics then you will find that every subject is thoroughly very linked very tightly linked up you will understand it and you will understand that maths is very subjective subject it's never an objective subject it's a most subjective subject subjective means that it is very changeable it is very pragmatic it's like you can do anything with it you it's very philosophical subject i think math should be uh, kept in art subject not in science field i am very sure about it whether people agree or disagree that's another issue but from this we get that how we are, how we studied it in mechanics and how we are applying it in sound and just see the beauty of it how it will proceed that uh, this was this fourier similarly if you take the uh, this Uh, exponential fourier in g omega not then the same concept nothing different we are doing nothing different if we take this exponential similarly in laplace we take e raised to the s t still nothing different similarly we take a matrix and we try to find this eigen vectors this eigen vectors okay vector namely this namely let me say that these eigen vectors are v1 this v2 this v3 then the concept of eigen vectors of uh, this orthogonal eigen vectors if there then this a v1 is equal to v1 so this is again taking this a is nothing but then again the same concept this v1 v2 and v3 are orthogonal eigen vectors so you will find so much analogy with linear algebra this sas this mechanics and mechanics in all subject you will find very strongly correlated when i was in when i was in btech i was like oh my god every subject is so linked up so now by this we get a very intuitive feel of how things are working around 